Hey everybody, this is Coach Tom, TL Performance. This is my in-between, I'm actually in my pre-workout stretch right now rather than between sets. We can use this as a podcast because you're probably wondering why is my head in that position and it's because I'm stretching my neck. But what I wanted to talk about today, and I'm playing with the lighting as I move my camera, I saw someone on social media post that strength training is self-care and I just, it's like it didn't quite sit well with me because, and I've reflected on it, and my reasons are like this it's not that simple and just look at what i'm doing now i'm stretching how many people stretch and if they do how long do they do it for i harp on this so much so if you're familiar with me you're probably tired of hearing me say it but it's the truth all they ever do is strength training and it's not their fault that's totally fine i like strength training and i do it too in fact i'm gonna do it after this but this idea that strength training solves everything is just absolute bullshit and it's just a marketing thing to sell more gym memberships, equipment, and all that crap. And the person posting this is buying into that, is drinking the Kool-Aid, as they say. Because strength training has benefits when it's done well and when it's part of a holistic program that includes lots of other things. But if it's not done well, it does way more damage than it does good. And I don't consider that self-care. And there's lots of people that make decisions about strength training based on emotional needs, and uh, acceptance and all kinds of stuff and also just not knowing and doing things making decisions that aren't healthy for them at the moment they're doing strength training but they're destroying their body you know and uh, so i i can't endorse that so i just wanted to comment on that strength training as self-care i wouldn't say that i would definitely if you wanted to worry about self-care uh i would i would encourage you to have physical activity of some sort and it doesn't even have to be strength training or even gym training. It can just be something that you like. But if, let's say, you are you have something and you want to include either your general population, which means you're just a person who isn't being paid to train or competing in a sport to being paid in or even competing in a sport and you just like to train, you want to improve your physical health and so forth, then that you would want to have a training program that is geared towards the goal that you're looking for but it's not the activity of doing it yourself either because that's another issue I have with it. When people look at going to the gym as self-care, then they want to do it every single day, and I don't endorse that. There's lots of other things you can do to help yourself that are part of your training program. Train, the training, the strength training is not the only thing. Again, I emphasize it's part of your overall program, and the rest of your program covers things that you don't get from strength training. So this is just some of my ramblings as I stretch before my training. That's right, pre-workout static stretching, something I do quite a bit of, and something I endorse that isn't really endorsed in the industry because lo and behold, you can do it without equipment, so it doesn't make a lot of money. And maybe I should do another, uh, I don't know, maybe I should do another video about that, but I guess I could go into it now too because blogs are that way, or vlogs, blog, blog, video, video blog. Um, Stretching is becoming more popular. But you ever notice how they're, what's happening is instead of teaching people how to stretch so they can do it at home and get the amount of it that is needed, you find uh, stretch labs, I think that's actually a company, stretch labs or uh, places where you got to go there and the person has to do it for you. And this is no different than like a massage. Is that a bad thing? No, not a bad thing. But who who is going to be able first and foremost, to go there every day, first of all, or even more, like four or five times a week or three or two or three times a week. Not many. Who's going to have the money to do that? Probably even fewer. It's like a massage. Going to a masseuse is a really beneficial thing to do, but are you going to rely on that person to do it all for you? No, because if the requ you would need to go see them like a way more than you can afford or are and or are able to do. So you have to learn how to do some self-maintenance as well in conjunction as part of your program. So uh, self-care is more than just saying I do strength training because that is a very broad term. And let's face it, the strength training done in gyms and that you see all over Instagram is crap. And I'll end with that. This is Coach Tom, TL Performance. And... Oh yeah, I gotta do the obligatory. Follow me on Instagram, coach.tomleggett, Facebook, TO Performance LA. I have to think about it for a second. My website, toperformancela.com, and I 
So am I on other social media? I'm not a big social media guy. I know I have a Twitter, but I forget what it is. And da, 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 I'm on LinkedIn. And if you're not following here, follow here. Write, write me questions in the comments. Email me, whatever. And uh, I like talking about real things. So see you next time.